What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. It is Tuesday evening, the 18th of August, 2015. But these reports just keep getting later and later. Sooner or later, we'll be back to Saturday before we know it. I'm sorry, these are all delayed. I try to have these out on Saturday or Sunday, and sometimes time just does not permit. I've had a lot going on in my life. Sorry if I look tired, working on very little sleep here. But if I don't get this done tonight, I'm not going to get it done. So let's get to it. First link below, we take it to the Blogspot post. That's where you can find all this madness. Bangkok bomb, deadly blast rocks Thailand capital. As I'm reporting this, I'm seeing breaking news that another bomb has gone off. We have a Boston Marathon type thing going on over in Bangkok. I don't know. I'll put a link to the BBC News. Not sure what's up with that. Over in China, we got avoid all contact with the rain. American embassy in Beijing warned. Still don't know what the hell blew up down there. But it has rained and now there's this white powdery sludge all over everything. Toxic? I don't know. Be advised, zero hedge. Uh, speaking of that explosion, Daily Mail put out an article. If you want to see some overhead shots, they just got some high-resolution pictures of the whole blast site. I mean, that is just, it, it's something of like ground zero. This this explosion is like World Trade Center ambiance. The, the, the ambiance probably isn't the right word. The just, the desolate look down there. You just got to pull up the pictures and check it out. My heart goes out to everybody who's affected by this explosion. This thing was nothing to be messed with. I still don't buy. You know, people saying, hey, well, maybe there was something, uh, maybe there was a bomb in some of those those uh, shipping containers. I don't rule that out. I still don't rule out some, some sort of bomb being dropped or some sort of laser weapon, high-energy kinetic weapon. I don't know. Was a message being sent to China for devaluing currency? Their market dropped today uh, another 6 or 7%, something like that. Crazy. Anyway, I put a link to this from the Daily Mail. I got a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to go through it. Explosions ripped through Texas chemical plant. Now, we had a chemical plant uh, explosion here the past week. Uh, Take a look at what a real chemical plant looks like blowing up and then go look at the China pictures. They look nothing alike, just saying. That from USA Today. We got CNN says, D.C. and New York flight delays caused by air traffic control glitch, FAA says. Didn't we just have this a couple weeks back? Didn't was it Delta Airlines had a glitch that grounded all their planes? Now we got this another weird glitch with the air traffic control. What is going on here? Is this a sort of cyber attack or what's happening here rt has this indonesian plane with 54 on board crashes uh, in a mountainous region over there in the other part of the world man 54 people lost apparently slammed into the mountain or something they're still looking for the wreckage over there they think they spotted it but the weather is permitting uh, you know preventing people from getting to it fda over to other news now fda approves oxycontin for children as young as 11 what this is from NBC News. What the hell? Let's just get everybody on drugs. Natural News puts this out. California to throw adults in jail if they refuse government-mandated vaccines. This August 10, you know, I reported on this before. Here's another article for you. Forced vaccines coming your way. Over to Hillary Clinton. Hillary on Snapchat says she just loves to throw it in our face. I love how messages disappear all by themselves on Snapchat. What are you trying to say there, Miss Clinton? You know, all this speculation about, oh, she's going to go to prison and all this, all this. Listen, I'm going to make a prediction right now. She's not going to jail. She's not going to prison. She's not going to be convicted of anything. And she will be the next president of the United States. I'm just making that prediction now. Place your bets. That from the Hill, by the way. Got a couple more here. We got Hillary Clinton chomps on pork chops as Donald Trump helicopter circles above. Right on. Shout out to Donald Trump on that one. We got shout out to Scotland. Scotland bans GMO crops nation ride. Right on that from We Are Change, August 10, 2015. And one more in the general men back in the United States. Yosemite National Park closes campsite due to squirrels dying of the plague. Be advised if you're anywhere in the vicinity of that. Now, over to financial news. You know, the market recap data is from Friday. I apologize, delayed. But last week the market was down. I'm sorry, it was up 69 points on Friday. For the week it was up 104 points. Looks like, where did it close at? 17, 477. I haven't even checked it this week. I'll put a link to that data. It's old, but I'll put it anyway. Clinton to propose $350 billion college affordability plan. I see, Clinton. Uh, exactly who's going to pay for this? Are you going to pay for this? Are the American people going to pay for this? 15 weeks, Treasury says debt has been frozen at, what is that, 18 trillion, 112 billion, 975 million? I mean, you need a calculator. I'll put a link to this from CNS News. Apparently, the Treasury, the debt has stopped, even though it's still rolling. What difference does it make, really, right? Clinton, you're going to get in there and fix all that, right? John Kerry says, John Kerry warns that the dollar will collapse. I'm sorry, will cease to be the reserve currency of the world if Iran deals rejected. Sorry if I'm a little slurred speech. Very tired. We got Greece crisis. They figured it out in Greece. Euro group agrees to third bailout. Third bailout. Did anybody ask the people what they wanted? No, people don't count. That from BBC. Hawaii News now puts this out. Eight claiming sovereignty rights arrested for squatting in home. And I guess this is out in Hawaii. 
Eight people say they're sovereign citizens. They're going to take over this home. Police say, no, you're not. What are your thoughts on that? Bumblebee Tuna. Here's a weird story in the financial bin. Bumblebee Tuna to pay $6 million over employee cooked in the tuna oven. Remember that? A couple months, a few months back, employee, I think two, two employees conspired to cook one of their fellow employees in the tuna oven with the tuna. Well, $6 million, I guess, is what his life was worth. Put a link to that. Breitbart puts us out. Train wreck. Uh, Amy, I don't know her name. Gun. Oh, here you go. Gun industry making too much money to allow gun control. You're damn right. And it's going to continue to make billions and trillions of dollars because the guns aren't going anywhere. Put a link to that. We got uh, new technology will make it difficult for credit card thieves. Uh, you know, all these people walking around these RFID chips. I saw an infomercial about a little sleeve that you put over your credit card. It's supposed to protect you. You know, why don't you just put the chip in your hand? That way you're always protected, right? That's where it's coming. We, we all know. And if you got a few extra bucks in your bank account, check this out. You ever want a flamethrower? Flamethrowers given by given up by military are being sold to the public. I didn't know they could do that. Over to New World Order and Police State News, and I'm sorry about any background noise that has begun to storm here. LAPD says straight out of Compton movie will endanger the safety of police. I guess they were worried about some uh, truth coming out of this movie. People might get upset with the police. In fact, not only did this movie do really good at the box office, I think they reported there was no violence whatsoever. So I guess that was it. I'll put this link from, uh, not sure, Counter Current News on the 15th. You got this story here. Pistol whip detective didn't shoot attacker due to headlines, Union says. Now, this came out August 13th. This is out of Birmingham, Alabama. Detective, apparently being attacked by a suspect, didn't fight back or didn't shoot the attacker. I believe that if a police officer is being attacked, he has the right to use whatever force necessary to defend his life. But apparently because of the headlines, this officer, you know, hesitated. You know, maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. Maybe we would have had a, a, a dead guy. Maybe he would have deserved it. I don't know. I don't know the extent of the attack. I'll put a link to the story. But this is like an unfortunate side effect of the madness of the world that we live in now. Is it the media's fault? You know, is, is it the people's fault? Is it the protesters' fault? In my opinion, we all share a fault in this. You know, this is a result of, you know, police and community breaking down. And as more of these stories come out about police killing people and people dying in custody and, you know, until that situation goes away, this stuff's only going to get worse in my opinion. Please tell me your thoughts. I'll put a link to the story, you know. And because the mainstream media doesn't always seem to understand, you can't say the two words police state. You ever notice that? Nobody ever comes on CNN or Fox News or MSNBC says the word police state. They just act like, why are people so pissed off at the police? Let me give you some stories here. Cop drags mentally ill woman down, down by her ankle down a flight of steps. This happened out of Ohio. That from filming cops. We got cops shoot unarmed teen in the back and then high five over his dead body. Where did this happen at? Uh, I don't even know. Somewhere in America. Does it really matter? It happens all over the place. Protest after Texas officer who killed unarmed teen fired. Apparently people down there want him brought up on charges, but I guess he was just fired. I think that was the, the, the football player kid that got shot. You know, was he do, up to no good? I don't know. Maybe. That doesn't give the cop to play... That doesn't give the cop the right to play executioner. That's the problem. You know, no due process for a lot of these people that are dying in police custody. Hawaii News Now had that link. We got this one. Wayne County Sheriff's Deputy resigns over use of excessive force video. Apparently he was caught on camera doing something he shouldn't have been doing. I guess he just said, I quit. We got LAPD handcuffs. Look at this. LAPD handcuffs 16-year-old boy for not wearing a helmet on his bike. Not wearing a helmet on his bike to jail with you. What? I'll put a link to this. When we were kids, we, cops, when we were kids, you know, I grew up in St. Louis City, St. Louis County. Cops were busy fighting crime. And, you know, when I was a kid, it was a whole different, it's just different, you know, than it was back in the 70s and 80s. It's all, it's, this is the result, in my opinion, of the Department of Homeland Security mandating to police academies what they need to teach recruits. There's a separation of humanity. I don't know what you call it. It's just, it's messed up. Yahoo News puts this out. Video of Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies beat man in East Los Angeles. They got a video on it. I'll put a link to that. That's the one, I guess, one of the cops. One of the cops is beating the guy with a flashlight. Watch the video. Tell me what you think. You got this. Florida cop smashes disabled veteran's cell phone for legally parking in handicapped space. I guess he wanted to be a tough guy. Speaking of tough guys... Look at this Sandra Bland video. Sandra Bland is the woman who's no longer with us, who apparently, uh, the official story is she committed suicide down, I believe it was in Texas, in a jail cell with a trash bag. 
how she got this trash bag. I don't believe this whole freaking story in the first place. But look, can someone please explain to me? I will put a link to the dash cam video of the police officer walking back to her car. I guess he was going to give her a citation or give her a warning, whatever he's going to give her. He could tell that she was a little upset. Maybe she was mouthing off a little bit. But please tell me. Tell me what right this officer had to pull Sandra Bland out of her vehicle. Pull up the video and check it out. This, in my opinion, is some Nazi bullshit. Tell me what right this officer had to pull that woman out of that car. Watch the video. I'll start it at the point where he's walking up to, to give her the citation or whatever. In my opinion, he just wanted to play Mr. Tough Guy. Oh, this black lady's mouthing off to me. Well, I'm going to show her. I'm gonna be... Does it make you feel like a man to drag a woman out of her car and beat her up like that? Watch the video. Tell me if I'm overreacting. Had he not played Mr. Tough Guy, Sandra Bland would still be with us today. Over to World War III news. I'm sorry for getting upset. This is just... That video is nonsense. Please make it viral. Please tell me what you think in the comments. Did he have a right to pull her out of her car? Yes or no? For what? For what? World War III news. North Korea threatens to attack United States. Look, Kim's running his mouth again that August 15. Meanwhile, North Korea threatens to destroy South's propaganda loudspeakers. You mean like Pioneer and Polk Audio and that kind of thing? No, probably not that from The Guardian. Uh, Russia extends food embargo to five countries. Uh, RT, not sure what's going on. Man, meanwhile, Ukraine being one of those. Got one here. Investment Watch says, breaking now. Ukraine erupts into all-out war. Ceasefire ends with multiple cities come under attack. Hundreds dead. Cities burning. That August 15th, I don't know. Newsweek, the world's going to hell. Al Qaeda leader threatens. Look at this. Operation Blackjack warning. Now pay attention. Al Qaeda leader threatens the U.S. doesn't know what's coming its way. What exactly does that mean, CIA? Getting ready to pull that blackjack card out of your pocket? That from Newsweek, by the way. CNN Politics, top top general, here you go, top general says U.S. should consider boots on the ground in Iraq. What? Boots on the ground? You know, I watched a documentary years ago that was telling me about how this war in Iraq will be sustained. So what do they say? Domination of the oil maintained, you know, all this divided up, getting rid of, you know, other countries who don't want to conform to the new world order. Business as usual, in my opinion. CNN Politics, we told you years ago. These wars were not going to end. We Are Change has Japan is making a stand against joining U.S. military aggression. That July 18, actually it's kind of an old story, but I don't want to throw that in there anyway, because I don't think I saw that in the past weeks. Iran, soon to be able to kill 90% of the United States population. What? I don't know this site. I don't know this article. I'll put a link to it. Interesting read. One more, two more in the World War III bin. Chinese Army trains military students to control machines with their minds. What up with that? Put a link to that. One more at the bottom. Tell me if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just going to report the story. U.S. flag raised over reopened Cuba embassy in Havana. Apparently, we have reopened our embassy and raised our flag. I wonder what Russia thinks about that. Over to Earth Changes in 2012 news. Now, I apologize. I just looked over at my timer, and I'm, I'm eating up a lot of time. When I'm really tired, like I am right now, I tend to get a little more, a little more emotional, a little more loud, and tend to drag, thing, drag things on a little bit more, and also slurred speech a little bit. So let's just fly through the rest of this. USGS, big quakes on the left, 4.0 out of California, 6.6 .6 out of the Solomon Islands, 6.4 out of the Solomon Islands. I think there was a, was there a tsunami warning? I don't think there was. I think there was in like an advisory or something. Anyway, I'll put a link to the USGS, big quakes on the left, small quakes on the right. A lot of small quakes as usual. We got a geomagnetic storm that came in on August 15th. Uh, if you had any problems with the you ham radio operators, had any problems with the radio, of course you probably already know that. Uh, Auroras and whatnot. Put a link to that. Uh, we got Breitbart says John Kerry says speaking of Cuba, Cuba can help us combat climate change. Really? Okay. Put a link to that Breitbart. Yeah, we're gonna probably all pay our carbon taxes uh cold speaking of carbon taxes and uh you know al gore can you figure this one out cold kills one million head of cattle in peru that's being reported august 11 2015 from ice age now that sucks uh did you see what happened out in la this past week did the mayor of los angeles just poison the entire county's water supply they're putting all these plastic balls in the water out there to, to somehow you know, keep the water from evaporating okay Put a link to that. It's like George Carlin, rest in peace, would say. Uh, maybe in the end, that's what it's going to be. Earth plus plastic. I don't know. Gateway Pundit has this. We got letter to the editor. We got this Colorado EPA disaster. Check this out. Letter to the editor predicted Colorado EPA's bill one week 
one week before catastrophe so EPA could secure control of the area. Is this a freaking land grab or something by them? Look at them. Check it out. They got the information right there. You tell me. They have done irreparable damage to the to the whole ecosystem out there, man. Uh, we got horror on Delta Flight 1889. I fly constantly, and this was the scariest 10 minutes of my life. Apparently, this flame, this plane flew through a hailstorm. Thank you for reminding me how I'm never getting in a death tube. Take a look at the picture of the front of this plane. The nose cone, uh, the windshield, all smashed. How did that plane even see to, I mean, look at it. What? I didn't even know that was possible. Is, was this plane not made out of something better than that? Uh, Zero Hedge has this bad timing. Japan, look at this. Japan opens first nuclear plant since Fukushima. Okay, I reported that last week. But as neighboring volcano erupts. Wait a minute. Nuclear plant, Fukushima, next to a volcano? What could go wrong? I don't know. I'll put that link. You tell me. Potentially dazzling period meteor shower, whatever it's called. Pure shit. I can't pronounce it. I always pronounce everything wrong. You know, that sh shower peaks this week. If you saw stuff flying through the atmosphere, it was a meteor shower. Or maybe it was a Russian satellite re-entering. I don't know. Space Cowboys. We had asteroid impact early warning system. First telescope up and running that from space.com. That was the last one. We got over to strange and bizarre news. Black Lives Matter. Let's start off with Sweden scrambles to produce black band-aids after a blogger complains about white privilege. Apparently somebody didn't like the fact that the band-aid is peach color. They wanted a brown color. This whole psyop, this racial, all this crap that the mainstream media... I mean, look at people. Are, look, people are acting stupid. Target. Target to remove gender-based signs from stores. Target. There's no longer a, a male or a female. We're all just one big happy gender. Tell me what you think. Hawaii News Now. You know, you don't have to agree or disagree, but you have to definitely notice that things are changing around you. People puts this out. Woman held prisoner and beaten to death by friends because she wouldn't hand over her boyfriend's food stamp card to say police. What? Madness. Wisconsin man accused of going into home to remove Confederate flag again. The mainstream media psyop. This guy goes into someone else's house because he doesn't like the fact that there's a Confederate flag hanging in the window. How do you get away with that? What's the matter with you? That from out of Wisconsin, I guess. We got, look at this. Shock footage shows mother teaching five-year-old how to shoplift alcohol. Just put it under your shirt, baby. I'll put a link to that. Speaking of alcohol, this mom's already drunk. Mom has four-year-old blow into breathalyzer to start the car. You ever have somebody have one of those breath, you know, you blow into things, start the car? Apparently mom was too drunk. Your four-year-old had to chip in. Okay, Fox News Politics puts this a White House aide arrested after allegedly shooting gun at the boyfriend. Well, there's a lot of people that were shot by an unloaded gun. Google that. That's a funny-ass video. Big Island Police say rof rifle accidentally discharges and kills man. You remember that guy that just, you know, shot himself in the leg? Apparently this guy shot himself, like, in the head. He, you know, it sucks. He's dead. You know, don't mishandle I mean, you know what you're doing if you're putting your hands on guns. Handgun. Now, look at this. Speaking of guns. Handgun phone case draws armed. RCMP, I guess has this happened up in Canada somewhere. Uh, a handgun phone case. Tell me your thoughts on that. Good idea, bad idea. I mean, come on now. Uh, and one more in the in the look at this. To top it all off, man in bear costume harasses mother bear and two cubs in Alaska. I'm not going to feel sorry for him at all when his ass gets eaten by these bears. For all other news, please check my favorite videos. I will put a link to my favorites. At least pull it up. Scan over the titles over there of the videos to see if there's anything you don't know about it. But all kinds of favorite videos. Thank you to everybody who puts out content. All kinds of fresh stuff over there. I got some shout-outs this week. Shout-out to Ted Cruz. Yes, I said Ted Cruz. You know, he's not making green eggs and ham today. He's making machine gun bacon. If you have not seen his video, Making Machine Gun Bacon with Ted Cruz, definitely, it's only a minute long. Check it out. Right on. I got to, you know... Can't go wrong with bacon. Uh, Frankie McDonald, August 2015 update. Shout out to my weatherman, Frankie. Check out his video, two minutes long. If you don't subscribe to Frankie, you got to check him out. Definitely big shout out to him. And shout out to I'm Your Ghost, also known as Monograph. Did a great 15-minute video about the the uh, Randy Quaid situation. Uh, and, you know, Randy and Eva Quaid still people without a country. Please check out Monograph's video. Please share that video. We need to help Randy Quaid get home and get past all of this nonsense that's going on in Hollywood where they're, they're taking his house and all this. Check out Monty's video. He's got extensive... Definitely, please take that video and pass it around everywhere. We need to help them get home. 
Uh, that's all I got, guys. If you'd like to report, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Think it sucked. It's the worst of YouTube. You never want to see again. Please rate, though. It helps me. I do appreciate it. You can also follow me on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter for live show alerts. Breaking news alerts. New upload alerts. Always posted there when they're up. Sorry this has been kind of a run-on, emotional, loud, you know, I'm very tired. I have had very little sleep, but I had to get this done tonight. Otherwise, it's not going to get done until Saturday, and I'll just have double the length. So I'd either do it tonight and get it done, and, you know, tell me what you think. Tell me definitely what you think about that Sandra Bland video. And it's okay to put in the comments, tell me I'm full of shit. Tell me that cop had every right to do what he did, if that's the way you feel. I really want to know. I want people to watch that video and tell me what you think about that cop ripping that lady out of her car. For what reason? Because she didn't use her turn signal? Madness. In my opinion, had he not played the tough guy and wanted to beat up on somebody, Sandra Bland would still be with us and rest in peace. And I am sorry to her family for all they're going through. It's nonsense, man. You guys take care. Stay safe. Always. I will see you on the next one.